Hi guys, this is Hailey. Today I'm showing you guys my first makeup look of Perfectly Imperfect Project, which is no mascara makeup look. For me, mascara is what I have to wear whenever I do my makeup, so this makeup look is the most challenging one for me because mascara is just amazing. It makes my eye look bigger, defined, and I feel just right with wearing it. But what I bother the most is removing it. It feels so nice when I cleanse my face with only water-based cleanser without removing any mascara, and my eye feels comfortable throughout the day without mascaras. I just don't want to feel that I have to wear mascara all the time so I create this look for myself. At the moment I'm really into red lips so by keeping my lashes bare I will let my red lip shine. Also red lip gets all the attention of the look so I think it makes me less care about how my eye makeup looks like. So I'm showing you guys no mascara makeup look with wearing red lips. So if you guys want to see how I create this look please keep on watching. For skin, I want to show my real skin, so I'm just focusing on the areas I want to cover rather than just covering all of my complexions. I'm starting off a color correcting concealer to cancel out my darkness on my face. And then I'm applying around my eye areas, like underneath my eyes on the lids and in the corner of my eyes. As I'm wearing bold red lip, I want my lip area is more like prepared for that so i'm just applying a little bit around my lips as well today i'm using mostly my fingertips then brush because i want to make it easy to follow and do not want the look too sophisticated this is just the whole idea of today's look next up i'm using a foundation but natural one you might know that i stick to NARS Sheer Glow Foundation for years, but this can be replacements of it. This has really beautiful coverage and the best thing about this product is it feels so comfortable to wear on my skin. As I have dry skin, one of the reasons why I do not use the foundation often is it dries out my skin, but this one doesn't. Consistency is really creamy and easy to blend with my fingertips. It is also buildable so you could build up the coverage until you want. I think I did too much compliment on it so as you could see I just used tiny amount of it and dot where I want to cover and then I blend with my fingertips. So I finished my base I'm moving on to blush. For blush I'm using this glossy cloud paint in stone. This is just my favorite blush as you know it's so easy to blend with fingertips and it really goes well on your just bare skin as well as on the foundations. I highly highly recommend this product if you are looking for really like natural looking blush. The blush shade is more like deep rosy shade. The reason why I choose this shade is I want to match with my lip colors. I know this shade looks very intense and it looks scary in the first place but if you blend really well with your fingertips it wouldn't look that much. So I take a really really tiny amount of this product and I dab with my fingertips on the apples of cheek, side cheeks, just blend all together. But you have to be really careful with amount you use. I'd like you to recommend starting off using tiny, tiny amount and add the color slightly more. I finished the blush, I'm moving on to eyes. I want my eye makeup look really really simple today. As I'm not using any mascara, I will just leave my natural eye shape for a fresh look. As red lip will get all the attention of the look, so I just want it simple. So for eyes, I'm using this eyeshadow palette from Tarte and I'm taking this warm light brown shade and apply all on my lids and along my lower lash line. And then I will tight line with a black eyeliner to make my eyes look more defined. But you can skip this part if you don't want to wear any mascara as well as eyeliner. But I'm just drawing a little bit to make more finish it. And then I'm applying powder a little bit along my lower lash line to prevent smudging eyeliner. 
And then I'm applying a little bit on the highlighter area because I'm wearing highlighting powder after. And I don't want it to look patchy, so I just apply a little bit on there to make like a smooth canvas. For brows, I'm taking the eyeshadow palette I used previously, and I'm using this mid-tone brown shade to fill in my brows. As I'm wearing really light makeup, I want my looks really soft, so I'm just taking this lighter shade than my brow hair and my natural hair color. And then using a brow gel, I'm brushing my brows upward, but I'm not making like a really intense fluffy brow look. I'm just brushing just along my own natural brow shape. For highlighter, I want to use a little bit intense highlighter, so I'm taking this Huda Beauty highlighting palette and then I'm mixing this light gold shade with this champagne gold shade to make more like natural highlighter shade for my skin tone. And then I'm just applying hype on my cheekbone, underneath my brows, just anywhere I want that nice glow on my face. Last but not least, I'm wearing this liquid red lipstick from Root. I actually inspired this whole makeup look by this lipstick. I could say this is kind of silky finish liquid lipstick and the shade is brownish red. Consistency is like the other normal liquid lipstick but it doesn't dry at all and it goes really smoothly on the lips. So I'm just applying all over the lips and smudge a little bit of the edges. So this is the finished no mascara makeup look, bold red lip without any distractions. I hope you guys find this video very helpful especially if you are looking for makeup look without using mascara. And I think it looks really fresh and my eyes feel comfortable now and looks still finished. If you guys try this makeup look, don't forget to tag me or hashtag perfectly imperfect makeup. And thank you for watching today and I will bring no eyeliner makeup look on March. Then I will see you soon. Bye!